Here, the cable lay to the offshore platform is demonstrated with the plough recovery and J-tube operation. The cable length required to complete this operation will be calculated prior to plough recovery. Once the target cable length is known, then the plough will grade out a set distance away from the J-tube operation area. This will leave cable on the seabed for later recovery. The barge continues to lay cable down onto the seabed, drawing the plough along behind it until it reaches a point close to the cable end. At this point, the cable is cut on board the barge and replaced with a rope. Once the plough reaches the rope section, it is recovered to the barge and the cable recovery process begins taking the barge back to its original position, where the cable burial stopped. The excess cable is coiled back onto the cable carousel as the barge reverses back along the route. Back at the starting point, the barge is manoeuvred ready for the J-tube operation, with the chute closest to the substation. Having adjusted the barge correctly, the excess cable is laid on the seabed in an S-bend movement until the point at which the messenger line can be recovered from the J-tube. Messenger line recovery will normally be undertaken using an ROV deployed from the barge. The ROV will make a connection to the messenger line at the bottom end of the J-tube and then recover the wire to the barge. At the same time, the team on board the substation platform pay out messenger wire down through the J-tube. Once the messenger line is established between the platform and the barge, it can pull through the heavier pulling line. A connection is made between the pulling line and the cable end. The cable end is then laid down on the seabed and the pulling line drawn back up the J-tube. Once the cable has been laid, the line used to lower the cable can be disconnected and the pulling phase can begin. Here, the excess slack is seen being drawn up through and out the top of the J-tube. This completes the operation, ready for the cable to be connected to the switch gear on the platform.